Everybody loves to pray. Everybody loves prophecies. Everybody loves miracles. Everybody likes when a declaration is made by the man of God upon them. However, it's not just enough for that. It is not only prayers we need. We need truth in action to live by through us for others to emulate, to see, and to know that Christ lives in us. Christ is manifested in grace and truth. Seek to understand that the Lord's calling on your life is based on his power and not simply on your own natural abilities. Define your life and service by your desire to know God and the leading of the Lord. Believe that God will empower you to do all that he demands. He never leaves us. He never forsakes us. Learn that the Lord's correction or discipline keeps the heart soft and helps you to hear God's voice clearly. Be certain that God has spoken before saying, the Lord told me, and do not speak presumptuously in his name. Be cautioned on how people are naturally inclined to follow carnal leadership due to short-sightedness. If you recall the lady in the Bible that followed Paul and Silas around, she had an evil spirit in her. This was not even known to Paul and Silas until their eyes were open. Now, because many people like to listen to fortune telling, divination and prophecy, they paid, men paid her to hear what is said through her from Paul and Silas. This is a tragedy we have these days, unfortunately. And when Paul told the evil spirit to leave the girl, the so-called men of God were angry because they could not make any more money. If you look through your Bible in Acts chapter 16, verse 19 to 22, you will find this um, passage there. It shows that from the start of the church, there have been vagabonds and robbers in the body of Christ who deceive and destroy the multitude. Open your ears to God's words, even when it is not pleasant to you. Realize that receiving correction results in the ability to discern the truth of a matter. Guard against bitterness in your own heart and among God's people. It most often causes people to turn away from God and to know him. Never ever pray when you are angry. Learn to forgive. Do away with pain. And remember, the battle is the Lord's. He's a God of vengeance. He's always fighting for us. Trust him with it, and he will fight for you, and your own peace will be intact. Empower yourself to be patient in spirit for the result of whatever you are praying for, while focusing on all the things of life and your salvation. Pastors, we pastors, leaders, the wise individual accepts God's testimony about human inclination to sin. Do not judge so much to bring another person down. God himself judges us. And he who was chosen, he judges himself by the word of God, rather by the flattery words of those around him. Evaluate any teaching and stay close to the plain meaning of God's words. Please be assured that you cannot improve on the Bible, no matter how influent you are in speaking and how you can motivate people with your words. You may be spiritual or powerful. It is not for you to change the word of God to suit your purpose. Please do not allow the wrath of God to visit you for this simple thing that you think it is. It may be now, it may be later. Remember that God intends good for his people to give them hope, to give them succor, to give them peace towards an expected end. Leaders, please believe that the Lord is a strong defense of all those he commissions and sent to proclaim his word. Have courage when facing opposition for preaching the truth of God's word. 
Leaders, bear in mind that God's servants have often been persecuted for faithfully proclaiming God's words without compromise. Leaders, do not compromise the truth due to disfavor or alter God's words to appease men. Trust that the Lord protects those he sends to speak his word in spirit and in truth. Teachers, know that the Lord will not hold anyone guiltless who speaks his own opinions in the Lord's name, but let the truth be declared without reservation. Guard against pride amidst God's blessings. Rebellious children bring shame to their parents and dishonor to the Lord. Do you remember the children of Eli the prophet? Shun today's casual attitude toward sexual relationships. Realize that God places a high premium on sexual purity. Flee from and detest adultery and honor marital fidelity. Understand that God rejects adultery and will always judge it severely. Lastly, we must be renewed in our minds. Without this transformation, we follow the devices of our own hearts. Leaders must face this fact and remain faithful and not be too concerned about how popular they are or they want to be. The will of God must always be first. And finally, the goal of single-minded devotion is to know God deeply in spirit and in truth. Remember that the final judgment will be measured ultimately by how much we have come to know the Lord and allowed him to live through us. Worship him, know him, seek him with fear and trembling. May we not depart, may we not hear, depart from me, you workers of iniquity, I know you not, on the last day. Do not be like the foolish, the five foolish virgins. May the peace of God be upon your mind, your heart, your soul, and your spirit in the name of Jesus. God bless you.